Hello everybody, this is Friday the 13th for the NES, made in 1988, released in 1989. Basically you've got to make your way through the woods and forests and whatever, around the lake, find a load of weapons and then eventually defeat Jason. This game seems to be full of zombies, which I don't remember from the films. And seriously, if you asked a Friday the 13th fan what they'd want from a Friday the 13th computer game, They'd say they want to play Jason, I'm pretty sure of that. Not some flipping anonymous camera who just faps about all over the place. Seems to be a blonde zombie. Don't know whether it's the ghost of Marilyn Monroe or something. And this music is absolutely rubbish. Absolutely nothing to do with Friday the 13th. It's an irritating little twiddly tune. <laughs> And you've got a cigarette lighter there. Yeah, that's, I'm sure that'll make an awesome weapon. So if Jason suddenly bursts out the wilderness at you, you can uh, light him a cigarette. Yeah, problem solved. Don't know whether you've ever seen Friday the 13th. In the original series, they got up to part 10. A knife there, I don't know how you get it. Oh, you've got to mess about in all these stupid cabins. They're like a flipping labyrinth. You end up lost in here and looking for these stupid kids. I think when Friday the 13th came out, Halloween had already come out. And after that, there were about a million slasher films all trying to cash in on it. Most of them absolute crap, it has to be said. And just about every date you can imagine ended up as the name of a slasher film. Although sadly there was never a slasher film called Pancake Day. But when was the sequel to that they could have had Pancake Day 2. This time it's got sugar on top. And speaking of dates, there were these three men sitting in a pub. And one of them said, you know my lad was born on St George's Day. That's why we call him George. And what, another one said, that is a coincidence, my lad was born on St Andrew's Day, so we named him Andrew. And this third bloke went, Oh, blimey, that is a coincidence. The same thing happened with me and my boy, April Fool. This is a very empty cabin, isn't it? Where are all the chairs and tables? Why sleep on the floor or something? There seems to be water zombies here. I don't know whether that's Jason's mother coming out of the water or something. That happened in the end of Friday the 13th part 3. Don't know quite how she got there. Then again it was a dream so there you are. There's a killer bird there. Again I don't remember that in any of the films. And this just gets tedious really quickly, it's just wandering about all over the place. Shoot the occasional zombie. And there's just not really a lot to do. I mean, I think they could have made a much better game than this with Friday the 13th. Could have played as Jason. Could have been like a slaughterhouse type of thing. Yeah, show slaughterhouse who the real ice hockey masked villain is. Instead of that we get this old cobblers. Just wander about till you're bored senseless, fall asleep and presumably Freddy kills you instead. The end. I think there's an alarm that's supposed to go off. It means Jason has entered one of the cabins, you've got to put a stop to him. And with your mighty cigarette lighter of doom. Now I'm lost in this flipping cabin. I can't be bothered to play any more of this, it's just flipping tedious. Speaking as somebody who used to watch all the Friday the 13th films, grew up watching them actually, I think this is a complete waste of a license. Absolutely pathetic. <laughs>